Street Kings Short Mode Review. Tom Ludlow is a dirty cop, but you get the feeling that he's on your side, though. He has a bit of a gripe with his old partner, Washington, because Washington turned snitch, and he wants to have some words with him, maybe break his jaw, but Washington gets shot in suspicious circumstances, and Tom wants to find out exactly what happened. And while all this is going on, he is being haunted, he's, he's being pursued by this internal affairs cop who very badly wants to turn him. Right. This is an awful lot of fun. Like David Ayer's other movies about South Central Los Angeles, whether he's written or directed them, or both, this is very, very credible. The slang, the dialogue, the physical environment, the choices of music, the characters, all of it feels very at home there and really draws you into that world, lets you see a little of what happens in that world and it becomes very clear to the audience that David Iyer did indeed spend some of his youth there. He, he really understands the, the subculture and what goes on there. To be honest, the slang at times in this does get over the top, but if you like this, sort of big dialogue, neo-noir dialogue, with metaphors and these phrases that people don't actually say in the real world, but that sound awesome, you're really going to get a kick out of this. And the pace is fast throughout, with the tension escalating over the course of it nicely. The 99 minutes without credits fly right by, and it comes to a third act, which is all kinds of awesome. This get, gains further legitimacy through the casting choices of Common, The Game, and Cedric the Entertainer. And the characters are all three-dimensional people, including some of the criminals. You really get a sense of why, say why they are the way they are, or the, yeah, what, what defines them, and it's very consistent with the character. And it is a neo-noir story, there is no, there are no real good guys, everyone has some bad to them, there are just shades of grey to everyone. And Tom Ludlow is, as you may have already guessed, very much an anti-hero. Everyone is very adequately cast in this, and I could pretty much list the entire principal cast, the entire main cast, and everyone does a good job as you know, with the character that they've been cast as. The twists are, excuse me, really surprising and really keep you, excuse me, really keep you guessing. It's very much a pulp story, and it rev revels in being pulp, with some definite B-movie qualities. It's a very gritty movie, and the action is smart and credible, although some of what happens, you could say that there's some very lucky coincidences at times. With that said, everything that you see happen in this could actually happen in real life. It's, it's not the, the dumb kind of action that we've been used to in decades prior. It's very much a James Elroy story, known for LA Confidential, and that one covers it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.